And then keeping the magic alive in, in terms of the scale of more people coming into the business. So um, I used to work, I think I said on the email, like for a peanut butter startup, we were super small and we got bigger and bigger and bigger. The bigger you get, kind of just the more stakeholders, the more people at the party, if you want to call it that. Um, so I get the scale, building building magic into scale in kind of out outwardly, but inwardly in terms of the team, more people, decision by committee, you kind of lose that that speed and spark of startups. Is there anything you could speak to on that? Is like how you get bigger in terms of more people in the business, but keeping those little droplets of magic? Okay, well, that's a different question. So, sure. you know, um, I was, I've was i been thinking in the back of my head, a food business where the scale is the magic is Heinz ketchup in the US because you can safely serve Heinz ketchup to almost anybody who comes to your house. That's why you're buying Heinz ketchup. Here's an example. Yes. Okay. So the mistake organizations make when they scale is they forget that certain kinds of decisions are best made by a very small group of people, and they have to decide which business are they in. Heinz will not profit by coming out with 42 different kinds of ketchup, because that will undermine their, their point. That when Tim Cook took over Apple, he took out much of the magic that his predecessor had brought, that the number of new breakthrough products that Apple Computer has launched under Tim's watch is close to zero. But he said, my job is to make the stock price go up. And he did that dramatically. You think about Microsoft, when Steve Ballmer, the worst CEO of a big company on record, was running it, he was not clear about what he was trying to do. But Satya Nadella is very clear. And the magic that says, yeah, we're going all in on chat GPT. I don't think there were very many people involved in that decision. That doesn't feel like a committee decided that. And that's how they made this huge inroads on Google. So if I'm running a restaurant or a chain of restaurants, what I need to do is say, this part of the menu is not changing for the next three months. Here's a team of people that are going to improve our quality and decrease our prices. And that's their job. But this part of the menu, this part of the menu belongs to the innovation team. And I don't want to hear any complaints about how much something on this part of the menu costs us to make. And I don't want to hear any complaints about how hard it is to produce. This is the innovation section of the menu. Innovation got us here. We're not going to stop innovating. That's why it's on a little blue piece of paper called Today's Special. And if we make a mistake here, it's minor because it's only one night and tomorrow we can do something. 